Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap app. So in today's video, I want to cover Rocket Vault, uh, which is an interesting upcoming uh, project. And the whitelist is currently open for participation in the pre-sale. So I'll put the link to that as usual in the description. As always, uh, I always say it's always worthwhile to sign up and then you can decide later if you want to participate or not. Um, before we get to more information, I actually wanted to announce that I made a Telegram announcement group. I had a few suggestions from people in my main group saying they'd like a group where I can announce everything, you know, all the whitelists and everything like that. I'll put in that uh, announcement group. So make sure you definitely join that. I'll put the link in the description and um, I'll make sure to post all the whitelists as soon as they're released. You can follow that group and make sure you get all the information as soon as possible. So let's have a look at what is Rocket Vault Finance. So basically it's a vault project that offers, as they say, the best APY in stable coins. And what I actually like about them compared to some of the other projects like this is that they pay out rewards uh, quarterly in stable coins, not in their token. Because as you know, sometimes if you farm or something like that, you get rewarded in their tokens and then their tokens just dump nonstop. And then you, there's no point in even doing it. So that's one thing I, I quite like. So they're going to have uh, smart vaults that uh, minimize risk. So their strategy identifies the best performing pools and auto invests in all the best performing pools. And it identifies the risky pools in order to avoid them and reduce the risk. They also have machine learning so they can uh, identify patterns and behaviors of historical data. And they can identify the best selling points for various coins and then that profit goes to the treasury which is deployed as the profit they're going to have hedging so their vaults will employ dca as one of the hedging strategies and as i say more strategies are being worked on they're going to have an arbitrage bot so uh, as i say straightforward where the vault uh, keeps monitoring for any arbitrage opportunities and executes the orders automatically uh, to capture the arbitrage opportunity treasury so the smart vault strategies automatically book profits and a percentage of the profits are reserved in a treasury in stable coins and the vault keeps monitoring for the best opportunity to execute the buy order to maximize the gains. Then obviously it's automated process so it works 24-7, 365 days a year and they've actually been around since 2019. Um, the app is already out on their website which we'll have a look at in a second. Then as I say, what makes it a smart vault is that it's powered by AI and machine learning. So obviously it keeps learning from the data every day to become smarter and uh, make more gains essentially. Then as they say here, currently they're making 75% successful predictions, which is really impressive. Then how is it different from other projects? Like I said already, they paid out in stable coins and not as they say, valueless tokens, you know, it's not always valueless, but it can become valueless. And that is a risk you take with some others. So that's one thing I really like about it. And as I said, they started their journey in 2019. So they've been around for a long time testing uh, various strategies. Then just uh, another information here about how it works. So they adopted data driven approach to user fund management. It monitors up to 800 listed cryptocurrencies across various global trading venues like uh, Binance, you know, all the big exchanges. Then uh, machine learning algorithms identify the assets that have the most upside potential and those that show signs of risk, obviously, to avoid. Then the algorithms automatically trade and those profits are put into the treasury, which, as we said before, is paid out in profits on a quarterly basis. So before we get to more information, let's have a look at their Telegram quickly. Currently 2,620 members, 335 online. It is quite active. Obviously, it is still quite early with regards to the pre-sale. I think anyone will be able to get in through the whitelist if you want to participate. So it is a nice and early project uh, to cover. Then another thing I like that they just announced is that they just uh, announced partnership with Uniswap Detective, which is quite a well-known influencer in the space. He has a really good reputation and uh, Rocket Vault just partnered with them, which, which gives a lot more trust. So now let's quickly go to their website. If you click on launch app, you can see an example of the vaults. Obviously, you need to sign up. If you invest over a certain amount, you need to KYC. So, you know, they're all legit as well. And here's an example of statistics with the vault, the next payout date, 31 March. This is the current total value locked. And this is their rewards per year, which obviously are very impressive. Then they also partnered with uh, BlockPass for their KYC process, 
which is another factor to consider with regards to the trust. They've been in various news articles, as you can see on ID Times. Rocket Vault was mentioned here, as well as on Blockonomy, and the one I went through already, I hold. So as you can see, two plans are public, and they're going to have tier-based plans, which are going to be released going forward, I assume, based on how much uh, RVF you hold. Here, free for retail, if you hold RVF, obviously, no KYC, up to 10,000 investment, and obviously, you have to KYC after that. Rewards are compounded automatically. There is a small fee uh, deducted, and 5% more of the profits deducted if RVF balance is not maintained. So obviously, if you dump your tokens, that's uh, going to be a downside. Then for institutions, you pay a 2% management fee and 5% of the profits per year, which is quite low considering how many profits you do make. Minimum deposit, 100,000. Minimum lock duration, one year. And the rewards are distributed quarterly thereafter. Rewards, obviously, automatically compounded. Pay an RVF and save 0.5% fee. So that's another reason to hold RVF. Stop vault services anytime and you're going to have a user dashboard as well. Then if we look at the RVF token, yeah, some of the fee collected will be used to buy RVF. I believe it was around 30% uh, will be used to buy RVF uh, from time to time to add liquidity to the centralized exchange and decentralized exchanges. So I think that's quite a bullish factor to consider because obviously if they're using the gains made and rebuy their token, the price will go up. As adoption of the vault increases, it leads to a positive buying pressure, hence the price of RVF token increasing as well. Then in terms of their team, obviously they got a public team, which is always good. They have LinkedIn's here. So obviously if it's an Anon team, too much uncertainty, but public team and that's pro. Here, of course, you can click register for token sale, but I'll anyways put that link in the description. So now let's have a look at the most important part, of course, the token metrics. So what they're doing differently compared to other raises is that they're going to raise in Ethereum. Hard cap is 1000 Ethereum. And then as you can see, they had a seed sale. It's going to be 170 Ethereum raised, um, where you get 50 RVF per Ethereum and only 10% uh, at listing. And then the rest unlocked over three months. Then pre-sale one, 115 Ethereum, you get 37.5 and you get 25% listing and the rest over three months. Pre-sale 2, 29 per Ethereum. They're raising 650 Ethereum for that round. 30% at listing and the rest over three months. Then, of course, public sale 17 per Ethereum, raising 65 Ethereum and 100% at listing. So I did calculate the initial market cap comes to about 293.75 Ethereum, uh, which is about 500,000, which is really low compared to everything else. Uh, obviously, it's not sure how the public sale will be conducted yet but I'm curious to see how that will be done. Then in terms of the allocation of the tokens, uh, liquidity 5%, advisors 5%, future reserve 15, development 10%, team 12%, marketing and PI is 15%, token sale 38%, which I think is very fair. Then use of the sale proceeds, um, legal and compliance 5%, operations 20%, marketing 30%, development 40% and miscellaneous 5%. So the marketing tokens are locked three months and unlocked over two quarters. Dev tokens are locked for three months and then unlocked over four quarters and team is locked for one year. So that's some good assurance over there. So overall, the tokenomics are really good. It's a low initial market cap. So that gets a thumbs up. So overall, I like the tokenomics public team. The idea is good. So I have to rate it cuck, bro. So I'm curious to see how their public sale is going to be done. But at the moment, the whitelisting is open. So make sure to do that. And uh, obviously do your own research. This isn't financial advice. It's just my review on Rocket Vault. So if you want to invest, definitely fill in that whitelist. So now it's time for the Tinder review. As some of you can tell, the city behind me is Warsaw. I decided to swipe here for this video. So let's see what they have to say about Rocket Vault. So Kata, I said, should we go to the moon in a Rocket Vault and what should we put in it? And she said, it's a great question. Uh, tons of money because Rocket Vault will pump, right? I take a supply of wine with me. So I said, that's pro. She said, what would I take? I said, I'll take my ledger and my laptop to make sure I have access to Uniswap to check how pro Rocket Vault pumps, obviously. And she said it makes sense, which, you know, I agree. Obviously, it makes sense. Then, Onea, 
Uh, do you want to go to the moon with me in a rocket vault? Same question. Yes, I do. I thought you'd never ask. So as you can see, the girls are expecting you to ask them about rocket vault. Can I bring my books with me? I said, yes, can I bring my hardware wallet? And she said, yeah, I think you'll need it there. So as you can see, it's very clear that they know what they're talking about and that rocket vault is promising. Uh, anyways, next up, Joanna. I said, if we had a rocket vault, what would you put in it? Good book and good mood. So obviously she associates a good mood with Rocket Vault, which is also very bullish. And she asked what would I take? Obviously, again, my hardware wallet, so I can all in Rocket Vault while I'm on the moon. Makes sense. Then A. I said, should I invest in Rocket Vault? Yes or no? Yes. I said, Oh, well, that's very bullish. <laughs> I will. So A gets an A plus. Then Lillian, uh, do you want to go to the moon with me in a rocket vault? Same question. What should we put in the vault? And this question. I mean, this answer really confused me. Please take me out of this bluish round prison. <laughs> Definitely books and suicidal pills, vacuum dishes we love, and probably some card games and what you want to put in. And I honestly didn't answer because that just really <laughs> confused me. I don't know, but the rest of bullish, so that's very good. So that wraps up my video today on Rocket Vault. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As usual, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, join my Telegram announcements channel for sure. And I'll see you guys next time.